Hi guys Mr. New Mobile here. Samsung's Galaxy Note 20 should have several advantages over the iPhone 12, including the display, camera specs and special features. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. The iPhone 12 is the most anticipated phone of the year, and Apple is really amping things up this time around with the rumored four models. But don't count out the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. This flagship should have several advantages over the iPhone 12, including the display, camera specs and special features. Samsung should trail the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro in some ways, especially with Apple's anticipated 5nMA14 Bionic processor powering its new phones. Apple should once again have the fastest phone around, and the iPhone 12 will also have iOS 14 on day 1, while it will likely be a while before the Note 20 gets Android 11. But the Note 20 should be able to beat the iPhone 12 in other ways. Here's how the Galaxy Note 20 can top the iPhone 12. The best phones right now just in. Samsung Galaxy some rumors, it's also possible that Apple may not be able to make this a reality in time for launch. Even if Apple does pull off such a feature, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra should have an edge with its 120Hz panel. The Note 20 Ultra's screen is expected to use LTPO technology, which enables the screen to dynamically scale from 1Hz all the way up to 120Hz. This should make the Note 20 Ultra more efficient. Improved S Pen There have been rumors that Apple might eventually support the Apple Pencil on the iPhone, but we have not heard anything concrete around the iPhone 12 adding that support. So it looks like for now that Samsung will retain the advantage with its included S Pen. We haven't heard much about new features for Samsung Stylus, but one leak points to the S Pen being used as a virtual laser pointer, which would be handy for presentations. The S Pen is also rumored to be getting a smoother 9 milliseconds response time. The Galaxy Note 10 added new features like air action gestures and better handwriting recognition, so we expect to see other upgrades this time around. Killer Note 20 cameras, although we plus a 13MP telephoto lens that's capable of 50x hybrid zoom. Add in a 12MP ultrawide sensor and a dedicated laser focus sensor, and the iPhone 12 Pro could have trouble keeping up. The regular Galaxy Note 20 shouldn't be a slouch in the camera department either. We're expecting a 12MP main camera, a 64MP telephoto lens, a 12MP ultrawide camera, and a time-of-flight sensor that should help with portraits and perhaps augmented reality performance. The rumor is that the iPhone 12 Pro Max will offer a lighter scanner for Arkansas and photo and video effects. The iPad Pro currently features such a sensor, which may be coming to the iPhone 12 Max, but not to the regular iPhone 12 Pro. Bigger batteries let me start by saying that the size of the battery is only one factor in determining battery life. But on paper at least, it appears that the Galaxy Note the iPhone 12 Pro series will reportedly have fairly small batteries across the board. The largest battery would be on the 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max, measuring in at 3,687 ma. The 6.1-inch iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Max could use a 2,775 ma battery, while the smallest 5.4-inch iPhone 12 will have a 2,227 ma pack. Apple could make up for this gap with its A14 Bionic chip and software, but battery size between the two flagships is a sizable difference. Charger in the box The iPhone 12 is rumored to not include a charger in the box. Instead, you would get only a USB-C to lightning cable, and you would have to use another mini power brick you might have lying around. Sure, such a move would be good for the environment and Apple's profit margins, but we think a lot of people would prefer to have a charger included. Samsung is also rumored to be dropping the bundled charger at some point, but it will likely not happen until at least the Galaxy S30 next year. Next year. Creative and unique features, but you don't have to have the very best anymore to enjoy an exceptional smartphone experience Matron smartphones are getting better, as the segment saw some major technological leaps, resulting in mid-tier phones that feel every bit as capable as modern fractures, as top and phone prices continues to creep up the mid-tier is more appealing than ever. This is especially true for Samsung's mid-range phones, the past 18 months or so. Samsung's mid-range phones such as the Galaxy A-Series and M-Series have gotten significantly better speaking of the M-Series soon it will get a new member successor to, the authority the Galaxy N41 have come across details about the battery that appears to belong to the Galaxy N41 thing on the Galaxy N41 yes 7000. The rated capacity mention here is 68 things like water carpet, cleaning system, and more eats up a lot of space inside the flagships, and hence they can put crazy better numbers like this without inviting sex anyway. 
the Galaxy N41 will be a based company, which is TCL's China startup to electronics technology component, because it may sound a bit weird, but Samsung Mobile and Samsung Display are sister companies, which means Samsung Mobile is still bidding on the system, affirms components like any other OEM out there to sourcing displays from a Chinese OEM, is bound to improve its profit margins, although not by much, but every little bit helps. In the entry-level price range for Android smartphones, a fiercely contested segment in virtually all parts of the world's profitability is debatable at best part from the battery. Not much else is known about the handset, except the screen sizes can be 6.7 inches flash D+, and interestingly, there are some Catholics a few months ago that showed the potential, design of the handset was like his predecessor, the Galaxy, and 41 will have, a poncho cut out the left and a bigger camera module on the back. What remains to be seen as if Samsung has plans to launch this in the near future, but with an appearance on safety couriers to see tech. Please consider subscribing. As we are back with the Galaxy Note 20 news last time we talked about the official look at the Note 20 Ultra it is, by the way, still live on Samsung's website. According to Mac everything will be on point as can have 5G it's got a lot to give you at that price. But out of all, Samsung is still trying to work out how sales of that flagship is 20 series well, didn't really do that well, and it is unfortunate because the global situation has to be blamed, in part, but it does continue a trend where people aren't really choosing Samsung flagships anymore. Maybe even kind mid-range phones and bigger numbers, but when the Galaxy notices and suggested prices from in the note leakers, and well it is suggesting that this phone is just going to be as expensive as the per increase, and of course we have to take those prices with a pinch of salt, because we just start note that the real price is also when it comes to grid prices, they can be different to other European prices, definitely different to American US UK prices as well. But now we have one of the world's most now Samsung, the kids trying in with what he thinks the next 20 cost 999 bucks for the Galaxy is 20, which just seems kind of expensive. We were hoping with the lower storage options. Also, the flat display which is cheaper for Samsung to implement that they would their 60Hz refresh rate. Not a bad screen at home, but this screen with $10,000 you have phones like the one plus a pro to find next to prior, and even at 90Hz, a lot of other finds as well. That way cheaper than $1,000. And so it does just seem a little outrageous that Sam phone with a mid-range screen now. On the flip side of this. Why could Samsung charge $1000 for this fine well those rumors that the Snapdragon 865 Plus is going in here that is more expensive. Also ESPN, which was on people is the biggest and I need to, or to the next series I fully suspected that Samsung may charge at $800 for this fine, which is an aggressive price, and one that would maybe seriously make people think hey, this is a good value flagship Samsung. As I said these are specific price leaks, just suggestions. So let's wait and see what that price will come out, and I would love to 9 comments. What price do you think this fine with the specs should come out for it to be good value and entice people to buy certain Samsung news today? I looks like the Galaxy Forward 2 has gone through ultimate certifications, so we can be absolutely sure this thing is coming on August 5th, along with all the other products which I confirmed, is that the phone will come with a 25, what charger in the box as well get to know. I am massively excited about that find to be honest, it is definitely the one that stands out for me a foldable find bex, that we had about still massively expensive and not affordable, but definitely Samsung are light years away from anyone else with a product like the last few days we now getting leak prices and suggested prices prices from in the note leakers, and well it is suggesting that this phone is just going to be as expensive as the per increase, and of course we have to take those prices with a pinch of salt, because we just start note that the real price is also when it comes to grid prices, they can be different to other European prices, definitely different to American US UK prices as well. But now we have one of the world's most now Samsung, the kids trying in with what he thinks the next 20 cost 999 bucks for the Galaxy is 20, which just seems kind of expensive. We were hoping with the lower storage options. Also, the flat display which is cheaper for Samsung to implement that they would therefore be able to give us a more affordable price. Also the screen, not just flat out a full HD screen, not a cord actually screen and a 60Hz refresh rate. Not a bad screen at home, but this screen really is a mid-range series fine screen, which has absolutely no issues whatsoever about in the Android world specs do matter. You have to compete $10,000 you have phones like the one plus a pro to find next to prior, and even at 90 hertz, a lot of other finds as well. That way cheaper than $1,000. And so it does just seem a little outrageous that Sam phone with a mid-range screen now. On the flip side of this. Why could Samsung charge $1,000 for this find well those rumors that the Snapdragon 865 plus is going in here that is more expensive. 
also ESPN, which was on people as the biggest and I need to, or to the next series I fully suspected that Samsung may charge at $800 for this fine, which is an aggressive price, and one that would maybe seriously make people think hey, this is a good value flagship Samsung. As I said these are specific price leaks, just suggestions. So let's wait and see what that price will come out, and I would love to 9 comments. What price do you think this fine with the specs should come out for it to be good value and entice people to buy certain Samsung news today? I looks like the Galaxy Forward 2 has gone through ultimate certifications, so we can be absolutely sure this thing is coming on August 5th, along with all the other products which I confirmed, is that the phone will come with a 25, what charger and the box as well get to know. I am massively excited about that fine to be honest, it is definitely the one that stands out for me a foldable fine bex that we had about still massively expensive and not affordable. But definitely Samsung are light years away from anyone else with a product like this, and it really is unique and that's it for now. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece out.